Hello music lovers and conversationalists, welcome to the channel. Today I thought I'd take a few minutes and share with you my thoughts from last night's show at Jimmy's Jazz and Blues Club. It's the first show of 2023 and I'm excited to say that I finally got the chance to see one of the best Chicago blues men in the business today and his name is Toronzo Cannon. Before I go on about um, and give my thoughts on the show itself, uh, I thought I'd take a few minutes and tell you about the venue itself. Jimmy's Jazz and Blues Club, as I said, is in downtown Fort Smith, New Hampshire. And I believe that it was once a mill or a factory of some sort, which has now been renovated into a 600 seat venue. And they did a really nice job in um, capturing the old classic jazz lounge feel you really feel like you're traveling back into time to see a show and um it's a nice um nice venue in the downtown part of portsmouth new hampshire and um i'm always uh looking forward to seeing a show there last night as i said i saw Toronzo cannon who is an artist that i've been wanting to see for some time he's a chicago native born and raised on the south side and uh, really grew up with the blues all around him. Prior to uh, being of legal age, he used to hang out in front of such legendary clubs as Teresa's Lounge, where he would absorb and uh, watch legends such as Junior Wells and Buddy Guy perform. And um, he was inspired by those guys and many others, and now he's inspiring a whole new generation of um, blues artists and musicians for years to come. Um, one thing that stood out to me, and I'm sure a lot of fans would agree with, is um, the way that he, uh, Toronto Cannon is able to uh, hold on to an audience's attention and really keep them engaged through the evening, not just by his singing and guitar playing skills, but the way that he can tie in uh, his sense of humor into songs and everyday aspects of life is really, I think, a talent and a gift that not everybody can, um, that not everybody has. And um, it's some, I think it's just a unique uh, gift to have. And t tying that all in with his uh, superb guitar playing and singing is just um, it's the cherry on the Sunday, if you will. Some of the songs from the set list that stood out to me the most are um, a song from his latest release, which is called The Preacher, The Politician, or The Pimp. And of those three, I know which one I trust the most. Uh, this song is called The Chicago Way. It's a blistering autobiographical song of um, Toronto's um, life and how he went from driving a bus for 27 years with the Chicago Transit Authority to becoming one of the most sought after blues musicians in the world. And um, I believe he still drives a bus for the CTA, but I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Um, the last I knew he was driving for them and um, that was his nine to five job and he would play the blues at different clubs around the country and the world on his vacation time and whatnot. Um, the next song that stood out to me was a song that um, really captures uh, Cannon's sense of humor when it comes to um, the high cost of living and daily life, and it's a song called Insurance. This song, uh, as I said, pokes fun at the high cost of living and specifically on insurance, and um, it's one that everybody can relate to. And um, some of the lines he had in the songs when he was singing it last night referred to um, the colonoscopy. And um, a lot of the audience got quite a chuckle out of that line. And uh, it was uh, nice to see him really using his uh, strong sense of humor to, uh, to connect with the audience. Um, a couple of other songs that I wanted to share with you that he sang last night. Uh, another one is from... The um, Preacher, the Politician, or the Pimp is uh, the title track to the album. And it's kind of a 
nice break from the um, hard the hard blues rock sound and adds to his um, talent of songwritings in this particular song you really hear a uh, dire straits kind of vibe in the tune and um, it's just a great um, look at how each of the three the preacher the politician or the pimp are really selling you uh, the same product and um, one really has to um, decide for themselves which one to trust I guess uh, the next two songs, I think, were the standout songs of the evening. Uh, Bad Contract, which is on the album The Chicago Way. And as I mentioned before, The Chicago Way is also a tune off of the um, not the same album. It made me think of The Doors and how they had the album Waiting for the Sun without Waiting for the Sun being a title track. And it would later show up on um, Morrison Hotel, I believe. And... Um, Bad Contract is, um, again, displays Toronto Cannon's um, ability to, to connect with the audience and uh, really through his sense of humor, but also through this song, uh, Bad Contract, it's um, kind of a message and a warning to uh, people not to get into a, uh, or try to avoid bad relationships and um, not have to suffer the consequences of one ending also in a bad way. The song that I think went over the most or was the biggest hit of the night was a song called Walk It Off. Um, this one, I think, was one of the longer songs that he played. Really had the audience, um, really had them at the edge of their seats. It's a great tune. Uh, this song has a nice twist at the end of it and has a classic blues feel to it. Uh, nice, I guess, shuffle kind of a beat uh, for the the uh, rhythm. So if uh, that's your type of Chicago style blues, then you're gonna love "Walk It Off." What I liked about the show a lot was how uh, Toronto Cannon made everyone in the audience feel like he was playing just to them, and um, that really came out when he would um, when he took a few minutes to exit the stage and come down and play on the floor and uh, stop at a hand, uh, at least a half dozen, maybe a dozen tables, shake hands with people and high-five each other, other fans and um, just really um, capture the moment. And uh, it was a really special uh, moment throughout the show. And um, I, I think a lot of fans, I know I do, appreciate that when an artist will come off of the stage and really get into the crowd and... Um, thank them personally and um, play in front of them. And it really just makes you feel like you're on cloud nine when an artist does that. Before I wrap things up here, I thought I'd take a few minutes and share with you some of the CDs that I picked up last night. The first one is called um, John the Root Conqueror. And unfortunately, I didn't get this one signed. I didn't get the plastic off in time. I apologize for the glare. Um... Show you the back here with the track listings. The next one is called the, I think it's the, yeah, the Chicago Way. And I got this particular album signed by Toronto Cannon. And um, again, I'll show you the track listings. And last but not least, his most current release is called The Preacher, The Pimp, a Preacher, the Politician, and a Pimp. This one is um, his latest album. It's a fantastic listen to what all of his albums are, but this one, I think, has has it all. Strong, um, strong album from beginning to end. And um, if you're looking to um, listen to something new, I highly recommend you picking up one of his albums. And um, if you get a chance to see Toronto Cannon... Um, don't pass it up. Your ears will thank you, and um, you will be looking to um, see him again after you see him for a first time. So thank you for watching. Um, Toronto Cannon is uh, definitely an artist that I'm going to be uh, looking forward to seeing again, and I can't wait till he makes his way back to the New England area. 
Hope all is well, and I will catch you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.